Hey guys, it's Emily from Hopscotch Interactive, and I am here today to chat about some of the recent industry news for us as real estate photographers and media professionals. I am not sure if you have all seen the news, but if you haven't, uh, now is the time to check up on what has been happening, and I'm going to give you a bit of a lowdown on it. So uh, this was a kind of exciting one, which was that uh, Zillow, which I've already been reporting on a few of their acquisitions from last year and prior to that, uh, including the acquisition of VRX Studios, uh, but they have just acquired a media platform called Aereo. So Zillow acquires Aereo, acquisition is complete. Um, that was in early August. And it looks like it was for about 35 million, according to reports. So good job, um, guys and gals from Aereo. I'm very impressed. And I think that this is interesting for a number of reasons. And I want to share those with everyone. So um, they were acquired. What uh, these guys do is they basically have a delivery platform for media for media agencies like ours uh, to be able to package up and deliver media, but also it is an estimating platform and billing platform. So it sort of streamlines all of the details that you need to have in your workflow as a media professional delivering for real estate residential real estate. Now, this is uh, something that they acquired because as you all know, they have, Zillow has the Showing Time platform, Showing Time Plus, and they acquired in December, 2022, a company called VRX. Now, VRX, uh, the purpose of this company was for them to be able to sort of acquire quickly a nationwide uh, network of real estate media professionals. This came on the heels of Matterport doing something very similar when they acquired VHT Studios last year. So Aereo is software to grow your real estate media business. Um, and I'm just gonna sort of point your uh, attention down to this little note here, average order total, right on their homepage. Now, um, one thing that I think is really interesting is that you might be asking yourself, well, hey, there's a bunch of other companies like this. There's Spiro, there's HD Photo Hub. There are a lot of other companies that are focused on delivering media, show and tours. I love show and tours. I think that there are so many of them out there, but what is different about this one? And so what is different, I think, about this one and why I think it was particularly interesting for Zillow is that, as you can imagine, Zillow is a data company. They are all about mining their data. And um, this is a photograph that I took last year at the PMRE conference. This is um, Brandon um, Wicks. I, I think that's how he pronounces his last name. He's the CEO of Aereo. And he was talking about, as you can see here, pricing and floor plans, price distribution. So just by the fact that all of their systems are aggregating the data from your bookings, if you're a media professional, um, your bookings across the country, um, they have insight into another side of the coin, which is not the listings and when they are coming up, although they do, you do get a little bit of that if you have a platform where you're seeing that people are creating properties, you're seeing in advance where there might be like upticks in listings, but you're also seeing the value of that media, which could help you potentially drive prices in a direction for yourself if you are also trying to book and own uh, the service providers as part of your business model. So let's just look at this next one. So he also covered um, the value of pricing of 3D tours. So literally every service that you offer is going to be visible and known for your pricing by Aereo, by Zillow, as they are trying to roll out Showing Time Plus, which is a special platform for agents in certain markets. And again, um, he even pointed to Matterport. These are all photos that I took um, while I was at the PMRE conference Oh, well, I was sitting in the back and getting ready for my talk. And uh, he went on earlier, and I think I even referred to Brandon in my talk a couple times, which I was talking about uh, real estate um, uh, metaverse uh, initiatives and virtual real estate and um, AI and so many other things. 
uh, so NFTs, etc. But I didn't, um, you know, I didn't really at that time think about, oh, well, this is his pitch deck. So good job, Brandon and team. Congratulations on the big sale. Um, also, you know, pointing out, like he even mentioned in here how Zillow had already made the $500 million investment into showing time. So this was for sure on their radar. And there was a battle for eyeballs as he pointed out in this slide between like homes.com, Zillow, realtor.com, I think all of them. And so gaining any additional competitive advantage for Zillow, for them to be able to have even more insight into the bigger picture and another piece in the puzzle for figuring out uh, what media, well, not only what media needs to be made, but what media is being made, the actual value of that aggregated over the whole country this is me just interpreting the business model. I don't really know for sure if that's what he's doing or what they are doing, but I think that's what they're doing. And, uh, you know, as I said, this sort of comes on the heels of Matterport acquiring VHT Studios to uh, basically accelerate the adoption of digital twins for real estate. So Matterport offering services directly and also now Zillow offering services directly, Redfin, the next biggest competitor, although they're not the biggest, they're much smaller than uh, Zillow by a large margin. I think that Zillow has 60% 60 plus percent of the uh, viewership in the US on residential real estate listings. So them purchasing this reminds me of, you know, some of the complaints um, that I've been getting from picking up in the threads and the forums that I'm on about real estate photographers going like, hey, like all my data is being used almost against me because now I'm giving them this data and then now they're gonna like put pressure downward potentially on my prices. And so I definitely think it's tricky. And I think that if you are a real estate media professional, you know, it's true that you are contributing to there being data that will be scraped so that it may be used for getting competitive insights from larger platforms that may not help you on the one hand as a media professional trying to increase your rates, but on the other hand, it helps you because it provides this distribution channel for you. And so you're definitely gonna be continuing to be stuck a little bit between a rock and a hard place. Uh, I also wanted to say that it reminds me so much of the commercial real estate side of the business where CoStar and LoopNet are often cited as this thing that the commercial brokers have a love-hate relationship with because they are asked by CoStar to put in a lot of data, like for example, lease expirations. But if they put in a lease expiration, then that would be a data point that then CoStar could then use to perhaps sell and put in front of other brokers who might try to get that leasing agreement or that uh, representation agreement uh, away from the person that has it right now. And so there is some conflict of interest, uh, which I am noticing in this entire setup. So, um, and as I mentioned, Zillow acquired VRX uh, because they wanted to increase their footprint of photographers. And also in the forums, I've seen that I don't know if it's um, the VRX pricing, but I think that, I don't think it's VRX pricing. I think what it is, is that showing time is now hiring people or has been hiring photographers and they're paying about $30 an hour. Although I've also heard that it's $30 a job. So, you know, people will potentially be making it up on volume, but you know, this is really a struggle for folks, especially in certain markets where there is a lot of price sensitivity. And so you're gonna have to continue to really showcase your value. And this is why I think having a really good handle on your media offerings vis-a-vis -vis your competition, being able to establish your value against um, downward pressure from uh, larger uh, organizations and larger offerings, which are gonna continue to go just and simply compete on price, uh, that's always gonna be a losing battle. So you have to compete on something else. And it's, it's, it's for us at Hopscotch too. 
So uh, here is, for example, that showing time platform. Again, like you can tell that it is all about the data. Uh, they are all about, uh, you know, also getting those listing agents a easier time to be getting showings, hence the name showing time, uh, but really packaging up an entire suite of services. Now they're not active in my area, like I mentioned, but I can tell that in certain areas, this is going to be a highly, um, you know, perhaps desirable or very interesting offering if you're really sensitive to price or say you need to move like 30 condos and you just need to get the most efficiency out of that. So I can see where in my market where I'm working on every property is like custom, um, non-conforming, unique property in the Berkeley Hills or in something like that kind of a market, it just won't translate for every market or at least not right now. Um, so my question though to everyone is who and what are next? If you've seen VHT, if you've seen VRX, if you've now seen Aereo and you've seen other companies and startups come into this market with very interesting offerings, I can think of Kubikasa, I can think of um, maybe I guide, I don't know. I think of other, com or giraffe, I think of other competitors where um, there could be a, a hole that could need, need filling and uh, they might be the ones to fill that. And so if I were thinking about expanding and if I were Zillow trying to play my own game of Monopoly in terms of software and in terms of competitive advantage, then I would be thinking about other companies to target where I could roll out, um, you know, and sort of uh, capture very quickly um, with an acquisition to gain uh, some strategic advantage. So let me know what you think. Um, I am very interested in hearing from you and from your comments. I just wanted to jump on quickly and share with you my perspective on Aereo being acquired by Zillow. And uh, you know, if it makes the Zillow offerings to realtors better and helps with the Zillow reputation getting better and improving, I would be really actually quite happy about that. Um, only because I feel like I am such a big advocate for using the Zillow tours to get, for example, the boosts for our clients. I know we have to include the interactive floor plans now for those to get the boost, um, but I feel like Zillow gets such a bad rap. And uh, so this is, for example, a way where I think that it will elevate the way that the listings look. It might streamline things for realtors. Will it create some conflicts of interest? Yes, it's going to. It already is. And uh, we're just gonna have to see where it goes from here. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And thank you for um, you know commenting on my thoughts and sharing some of your own in the comments below. Thanks so much and have a great day.